Hey you guys, how's it going? So this is the final um, assignment in this series. So uh, this last one is actually uh, five uh, in problems. So it's gonna be four individual pieces and then we're gonna put all of those together into one assembly. So the first piece is this base plate right here and uh, none of these drawings are very good. So the first one is this base plate. The second one is this wheel. The third one is this uh, support bracket, uh, and this one is going to be used twice in the assembly, but we've only got to make it once. And then the fourth part is this uh, metal axle right here. So um, I'm going to split it up into five different videos, so one for each of the parts and then one for the final assembly. So uh, for this first one for the base plate, uh, the way I'm going to start it is I'm going to do a rectangle um, that is the total dimension here. And then I'm going to do a um, sketch fillet on the edges here. And then I'm going to do the four circles. And finally, I'm going to extrude it the entire depth. So the uh, 12 millimeters right there and then the four millimeters right there. So a total of 16. And then I'm going to draw on the top face uh, one extrusion that's going to cut out the four mil on each side and then flip it over on the bottom and do another sketch that cuts the four mil out on the bottom right there. So this is the final piece that we're going to be building. And the material for all of these is gray cast iron. All right, so we'll get our new drawing going. And we are going to sketch this one on the top plane. So we'll go on ahead and get our rectangle going. And the overall width is 36. Oops, we need to change to millimeters for all of these. So it's going to be 36 mil wide and 136, sorry. So 136 mil wide and 78 mil tall. And we have four circles that we're going to be doing. Um, I'm going to draw a construction line that splits this in half both ways. And then we're going to mirror it about this. We've only got to draw and dimension the circle once. So you can see um, right here that it says that uh, each one of these holes is uh, 10 mil in diameter. And it doesn't give us an exact width off of it. Uh, it tells us that it's 112 from center to center. Um, so 112 um, between 136, that's uh, 24. And then you divide that by two. So we have 12 mil off each side. And then the same thing for the width, it's gonna be uh, 24 mil off uh, in total, so 12 mil each. So we can set this diameter to 10 and set up each one of these offset 12 mil from each side. All right, now it's fully defined and we can go to mirror entities up here on the top and select this circle to mirror and we're gonna mirror about this vertical axis so it will automatically flip it over for us. And then we're gonna do the same thing by selecting both of the circles this time and flipping it about the horizontal axis. All right, so now we have uh, all the circles drawn and we're going to do a sketch fillet. Um, so if you don't see yours uh, right here in the toolbox on the top left, you can come up to search commands and search for sketch fillet. And when you click on it, you're going to set your radius to, it says um, radius of 12 right here. So that means it's gonna be 12 mil for all of them. And when we go to do this, we're gonna click on each one of the four corners right here and it's gonna automatically do it. Uh, if you did a center rectangle like me, it's going to yell at you uh, each time that you click it, but it's fine because we don't have anything dimensioned off of the corners. All right, now that that's done, we can go on ahead and extrude it. And this one is going to be a total of 16 mil thick. And then we're going to do a, another sketch on that same face. And we're going to draw this rectangle here in the center. And then we're going to uh, extrude down on each side. So the easiest way 
is going to be to come up here and just do a normal rectangle, not a center rectangle. And just draw it, uh, oh, excuse me, actually do a center rectangle from the middle. And we're gonna be doing it to one of these edges. So you can either do it to the top edge or the bottom edge, but because it's a center rectangle, it's gonna automatically do both of those the same height. And uh, it needs to be, does it give us an exact width? Yep, so we see that it is 60 mil wide. So we're going to dimension between the left and the right to 60 mil. And lastly, to cut each one of these sides out, we need to come up here to convert entities and just click anywhere on this main face and it's gonna automatically bring all of these um, sketch lines from our last sketch onto our current one. So now we can go to features and extrude cut and select both of these sides. So not the center, but both the left and the right side. And it is a four mil extrusion. So there we go. So now we have that side done. So now we're gonna flip to the bottom, do another sketch on the bottom. And once again, we're gonna do the center rectangle from the middle up to the top. And this width is 48 mil. And then the same thing as last time, convert entities and click on the main face. Uh, if you don't have it as the main face or you did it in some different drawings, you can um, individually select each one of the pieces that you wanna bring to this sketch. But just doing the overall face is the easiest. And then this time we're gonna go to extruded cut and select this middle part this time. And it's gonna be four mil also. And then the part is now drawn and now we can go to material, edit it and select cast iron. And it is gray cast iron. There we go. And that is the base plate. So part one of chapter 14. Leave a comment if you have any questions.